Hey guys, this is Danx87. Today we're going to be talking about wall running, specifically in out wall running. So here's a wall here, and I can parkour all the way along and jump off at the end. Now let's say that the player decides not to jump and instead hits the wall. You fall straight to the floor and you'd have a death zone down there. This also allows the player to jump at any time, so you could jump midway across the wall. Okay, so for this you're going to need a broadcast microchip, timer, mover, in-out mover, not gate, and gate, character animation tweaker, and a controllinator. Okay, so we have our wall here, and now we're going to grab a piece of invisible material. I use sticker panel, you can use hologram. And we're going to place, we're going to be using the small grid, so we get a small little box, we're going to place it one grid space away from the wall. Then we're going to have it all across the wall, so the layers of the wall. Then we make it invisible, and then we're going to stick on a broadcast microchip. In the settings of the broadcast microchip, we want it to be all in contact and to allow touching, so to include touching. Then we want our controllinator, and we want our controllinator to be a receiver of the nearest player. Next up we want our in-out mover, and we're going to place that inside the controllinator. And then we're going to have a speed of around 4, because that's the speed at which your sack moves. Then we need to press R2 on the sticker panel to see what layer range we have. So we have 3 to 7. So we want this in-out mover to go all the way back to layer 7. Next up we are going to create our jump. So we want a timer. We're going to set this to 0.5 and we want it to be a countdown timer. Then we are going to attach the X button into the timer. Then we are going to get our mover. Now mine is jumping to the right, so I'm going to need right movement. So I'm going to have three right movement and three up movement. And then I'm going to want 100% acceleration but no deceleration. If yours is going to the left, you're going to need minus three. Then attach your timer into your mover. Then we're going to want two knot gates. I'm just going to pause for a second because this is really messy. So I'm just going to move things around. I'm going to move our jump over here. And I'm just going to make it a lot neater. We need our timer into one of the knot gates. And then our in-out mover into the other knot gate. Then we want the knot gate that's attached to the timer to be the activation of the in-out mover. Next up we're going to create some drag, so there's something that pulls the character down even when you're wall running. So we're going to get a mover, and we're going to set this mover to no left and right speed. We want acceleration and deceleration up to full, and we want minus 1, maybe minus 0 0.5, but we'll go with not minus 1 for now. Then we are going to place down our AND gate. Then both of our NOT gates into the AND gate. And then our AND gate into our mover. Last thing to do is now to set up a animation. Best way to do this is pop out a sack bot. Now we can play around with animation. So we get our animation tweaker, we pop it inside the sack bot, and we change the animation. So we find a, a decent looking run animation. I quite like the um, Marlon Randoms running fast animation for this. Then we are going to change the angle to match our wall. So he's running backwards in this one and we want a slight tilt. This 
to me looks perfect. Then we are going to place this into our controller and then attach the AND gate into it. It's important to note that this wall run will only run in one direction. There is a way to make it run in both directions, but that would need a separate tutorial. So now we can test this one. As you can see, we run along. The pull down and both the jump were a little bit lacking. So we want a bit higher up and down speed on the jump, so five. And that's it. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Keep tuned for more, and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.